that is an incredibly expensive stay. stay. So, you know, we got to save up a little bit. But this is what's interesting. Seattle are spawning on the bad side. If you know that you're like the team B and this comes through and you end up on the bad side on bad road, you might not have a good time. And that's not exactly the ideal start. So uh, I think this is going to be like an all year sort of situation of letting this map get through. How do you make up from quite literally the side you stomp? Yeah, we, we heard Nameless bring it up saying that, you know, oh God, oh God, wait a minute. Ugh, three piece Neptune, great start. 30 seconds remaining on P1. Nameless saying that, you know, the LAG is starting good side on this map. And we're seeing why, ladies and gents, if you cast your minds back to control, of course, the way this plays out, not easier to get out of that far right hand side of the map. But so far, we've got a little bit of an open cred and sipping the men to get that done. Arsty's posted up. He's going to find kills aplenty from here. But now they've managed to slip inside. That's going to be a tough move now for LAG to handle. Oh, though chance it's a great start yeah i mean at least you get out towards like p2 though so you know about as bad as p1's possibly going to get but you have an opening you get the guys out of the power positions and you at least have some wiggle room to work with and more importantly you're all over like this new hill you're getting picked apart along the way and it looks like lag are just going to continue to fry but maybe not worst case scenario with Pred in the mix so seattle they have a, a bit of an opportunity so Red, our rookie of the year, can fire up here on Fortress. Nice work from Sip, though. Up close and personal there with the M4. It's a clean hard point, clean trophies, accuracy right back in with though. No more reinforcements. Here comes Pred. Better late than never. Into the point that's going to keep it in the hands of Surge for now. With the 25 remaining. You're still thinking about new. That's what the right hand side of the minimap's all about. The Los Angeles Gurus with a late break. Next 20 seconds of theirs. And just to stay on the theme with the spawn traps right now, yes, Seattle do have the rotation on the right side of the map, but you don't want to end up there by the time the hill, like if there's less than 20 seconds left on it, you have to find a way to actually get out. So see how Seattle's going to play it. And of course, step one is making sure you do hold on. If I see a trophy by accuracy yet, well, there you go. He's got the coverage. Right in the foliage there. Solid coverage from that trophy. Accuracy brought down. LAG wants to go on the approach. Whether it's good side, bad side, don't matter though. Sib, he fights forward. Mac in the kill feed as well. Wonderful work there from Surge. Keep it all together. 45 still remaining here on Fountain. Good work either way as the kills keep coming through. Still holding the time. Now's the moment though, Chance. You've got four dead. You've got to get out towards the next point. Yeah, I tell you, that's making the best of a bad situation. Sid making a big play in that moment. But now the try is to, you know, get out of your spawn. No, no success there. And you can already see on the minimap, LAG. Maybe try to get Sib out of the hill if you have enough mates to make it happen. But you set up this trap. We've seen this in a few times. A few different Call of Duty's have hard points where, yeah, you might get the time, but you're going to lose the next one. Now, what's the game plan here, Chance? Where the hell are these guys trying to go from here? Well, right now, it's what? I mean, one player spot wrapping back towards the hill. Everybody else was trying to get in the power positions, but in the meantime, Accuracy has actually managed to slip through, but he gets caught out, and I mean, he was just full speed ahead, trying to sprint his way across, and the Mew are just back to square one. Mac, the gate is not open. That gets shut down. It's only the top side of the map. LEG have consistently left that open. That just means you're able to at least get through the actual break. Well, that's step number two. This is it. They're finally out for search. Looking to get towards that point. Kills are there. Accuracy and save. Good work. The trades are down. Over to the cannons. We now finally do get Seattle Surge. Neptune, the last man up on alive for his boys. Oh, dear. This could get an ugly fight. He's managing to stay alive. Good work out of LAG. For now, it's try to break in. And Neptune, the man with the trident in hand. No problem. Finds a few more. It's a three spree. And well, ooh, I was going to say that might be number four. Sip with you, a slide kill. You don't see those too often <laughs> anymore, but able to deliver in the moment. And maybe who can roam a little bit or maybe chop it up just a little bit. Oh, we might be, we might be facing a techno issue. No, it looks like everything's cool. We're leaning forward, leaning back. It might have just been a technical, uh, a slight bug there. But for now, the play still seems to be continuing. Over to the next hard point, the blacksmith. Neptune's got himself a V corner. This is one of the spots to be, ladies and gents. Accuracy's up next. No problem. Taking care of Sibs here. And this is beautiful shots out of Neptune. 9 and 7 overall. Bit of an inconsistent player throughout the Vanguard season. Didn't exactly get the chance to shine. And I think this LAG team chance could be for him for life. Oh, they're going to see. Well, I. Wow, life is such a long time. Now I'm Sorry, getting all like a long deep time, all the time. <laughs> no, it's just, that is quite a bit. And well, the life, at least in the hill, did not last very long. Seattle just instantly stormed it over through the front. Sip can't get the second, but does the damage, and you still have the clearance towards the actual hard point. And this is the first time it's really felt like Seattle has had the opportunity to set up a spawn trap. LAG had sort of mixed success overall, but you know, when you start on bad side, you tied up the game, you get LAG now pinned in the back, and 
it's going to be interesting to see how much of a run they can get because i mean you go to a 10 point lead now you basically flip the script on how the game started i think seattle might start to take over yeah, this is an amazing turnaround. Not an easy thing to do from bad side here on Fortress, but again, early days, everything we've expected to see here in the Call of Duty League in the 2023 season, somewhat turned on its head. And that's what our pros are all about, changing the game on a daily basis. 130 is now climbing chance. Surge are still in the driver's seat. The Blacksmith is going their way fantastically so far. God only knows what happens next. And if you remember LAG, I mean, it was a couple different times where the spawn trap gets given up by just leaving the left side of the map open. Pred right now is shutting all of that down. Sib is posted up in the single window, watching the left side. So right now, Seattle, I mean, this setup is as good as it gets. It has been a nearly perfect P1 hill thus far. And again, there are no openings on the map for LAG to work their way through. LAG couldn't hold this down. Right now for Seattle, it is perfect. Wow, this is solid. Indeed, gameplay. Trophy's going to save him for a moment. Here comes the rest of the flood from LAG out through that art side of the map. Top side, bottom side, they can do what they can to get across, but man, that's one perfect P1 into P2 now, the Gallows. And immediately, Seattle Surge, they have not stopped for a single moment. It's a five spree from Sib, it's two for Mac, and now it's a listen in with Seattle Surge. Yeah. They're stunned, they're stunned. One more there. They're stunned, one more, yeah. Last guy, Kyler, Kyler, Kyler. Kyler. Look front, look front. We're missing okay. Kyler. Uh, yeah. the, oh, one top, one top, top rails. Oh, he's behind you. Top part, top part. All right, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have side door. I have side door. I have side door. I heard you. I spawn out, I spawn out. I'm on you. Right here, right here, right here. In the back, back there. One more in the back. Nice. Second arc. Nice. Alex, 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 second arc. Hit three times. Alex. Alex, 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 Second arch and first arch. Second arch, Alex. Second arch, first arch. Alex, second arch. One shot, move. first arch. Cool. Get to the average group for new, guys. Average group for new. One already ran across P5. Go on top part. We're gonna try to get a kill on maps. Yeah, try to get a kill. I stun over P1. I stun him over gate. I'm looking yeah. top circle. I can't see him from he's top part. He's there. He's like in the corner. One's on the map. Yeah, Let's play for Scott Old. Old went. Old went. Play God. Yeah, watch your back. Watch your back. Top circle. Circle dead. Circle dead. One's on the map. City. The map. City. Old's top part. Cages. Look. Cages. Look. Cages. Look. I got him. 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 I have a map right now. I'll get gate. Hold on, map. I have gate. I have gate. I have gate. I can see top maps. I can see top. Top maps. Change, change, change. I have gate. I have gate. I do not have gate. Nice. I'm good. Alright, Alec. 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 He's only Magical moment right now for Surge. Hit fire there from Accuracy. Four spree. This could be game chance. It's looking magnificent. I mean, could be game. It has been game for a long time now. I mean, I think LAG, they were up like 105 to like 85 or 90 or something like that. And Seattle just legit went on like 130 to nothing run. I mean, again, the theme of the map is the spawn trap. LAG got hit to the good side and they did get the lead off of it, but multiple times let people out the left side of the map. Seattle, when they had the opportunity, I mean, literally. Climactic showdown at champs later on in the year. We'll see what happens. Into the fortress now we go. Tough run of things for uh, quite a few teams we've seen so far, but a 6-0, of course, the Rocker Optic series in search and stroke. See if we can get another 6-0 here and move things along. Hey, nice moves by Neptune as well. You saw Pred was trying to hunt him down towards the middle of the map, but that is a big first blood to be able to deliver. Now I was going to say, I talked a bit about Seattle, but Spark, s and kit, always saw it in the, in the game mode. Sib, you good? Wait, I met it. 2v4. It ain't a good round for Surge. Where could he have possibly thrown that nade to hit his teammate directly underneath him? I mean, uh, if I speak up, Miles, man. If I'm that's be, what the f <laughs> <laughs> nonsense, nonsense. Either way, though, we're making oh, a case. What is going, going on, What's dude? Going on? Who's killing who and why? I need answers. Well, either way, Spark's gonna recover the bomb. One v three, one v two. Sib's alive. Technically, two kills in the round because he took care of Mac. But who's counting? Sib is trapped though. Number five does have the cross RCDs. Yes. Let's right. him through. Spark's gone. Turn around immediately. Wait for it. Pops the doors. Sib could. No way. No way. One oh, he knows too. He knows. I, I, one of his teammates called out RCDs no that he spotted him on the cross, so he knows he was P1. Wait. 1v1. Wait a minute. It was so close, and he's smiling. He knows how close he came to a preposterous round. Technically, I won't be five. Maybe count back. <laughs> <laughs>
We would have counted Mac. Uh, by the way, I'm it. pretty sure that was a spectator. I, I know. I don't think Sib actually saw Arsides like sitting in the P1 corner from his POV, but one of his teammates definitely did. And whether it was spectator or just like the helmet cam, based on the way he was like flying out of the doors, he was ready for Arsides to be on that side of the map. So uh, that's just good communication, and that is a, a heck of a try for round one. But also, don't team kill Mac. What? I don't. I don't get it. That was. It was team kill on the, on the other side as well. I uh, know. Crazy. We're still rolling though. Max gonna get that bomb. We lose Pred early on here. Bomb's gonna get planted at A. Here comes the 40 second timer. Good luck. I think maybe Sib could break this down if he's playing like the, the super off angle. Yeah, he was the first one to engage. Hook walks off the Semtex. He's able to move just away, but 3v4, they're trying to hold this down. Flying forward. Oh, another one from Arsis there. Like a bulldozer right now through the back side of Fortress. It all comes down to Mac. He gets one, two. Wait a minute. No, done. 20 seconds on the clock there to get the defuse. Great work out of Mac there. Takes a couple with him, but Neptune's going to be there. Spot on the defuse. Good round. LAG go 2 0 up. Hey, just great picks overall on both offense and defense. Just figuring out where Preds, well, not that it's complicated where Preds is going to be. Bottom green both times, but either way, doubled up on the first bloods. And I think that is sort of in my mind going to be the main theme of this map. Like, first blood's going to be ever more important, especially because everything is super tight. Everybody's going to be around the same building or in the archways. And if you can't move because your footsteps are going to be too loud, <laughs> you have to take your time. And if you have the main advantage and you're taking your time with a guy that's going to be standing right next to you, uh, there are moments that can be, uh, you know, difficult to screw up in a sense. So LAG, get the picks and they deliver. And more action down low. It looks like maybe off to the P1 side of the map. Go see out. That's an interesting thing that we might be revisiting this year is that this is an, a, a difficult situation to screw up. Let's see how those words will bring out across the Modern Warfare 2 year. For now, though, stalemate. Very quiet. We're going to see a slight peek through the arch there. It's accuracy, the man looking towards this one. And he may have just given Civ clearance. Hit it. Run for it. Here come the tags. Hey, at least he get the bomb down. Number six, by the way, I think Hook might have been trying to make a play from the top window. He gets back down. So Seattle now, they're looking to pounce. Waiting for it. 30 seconds. In and out goes Hook. Great work. Daddy pop. Now he can make a real move. Accuracy managed to get himself right on top of the bomb site. Now just desperately trying to clear out these remaining players, but sneaky little Neptune. There's the fight, big win from Neptune. Trades out immediately once again. Last man up, Sib. Yeah, Hook's making the play as well. That's the second kill he's able to get this round. And now it's just about the chow, and you see the shoulder being thrown. Bomb is clear. We are good to go. And send in Hook for the final kill. So three on the round there for the nuke efficient stuff and well obviously three rounds in a row for lag just good work to be able to get the bomb down uh, i think you see the idea from seattle it's one ar and accuracy uh we've already seen the little crack spot under the doors where you can spot the cross towards the bomb he's calling that out to sib who from the other archway is actually trying to get that kill and even though sib gets the first blood you still are able to get the bomb down and get out and that is just the opportunity for the, the clutch plays playing around it and lag putting in some work Three to nothing. See how Surge now on offense trying to make their way forward. And again, interesting looks. A little slower. But that right hand side door, A1, the archway. We're going to see plenty of players taking the little peeks through there. Max going to be able to get the bomb down. Doesn't get away with his life, though. Hello. Petrano wants to back. 3v3. Just over 30 seconds on this one. Seattle have given up the bomb site for now, but it is a tactical retreat. This is going to sting. Spark gets tagged up. It's all down to here, Neptune. Yeah, they're so worried about the flank too, and rightfully so, because that flank is coming in quickly. Pred, either he gets the freebie or he hands deliver it to his teammates. The chow comes through, and Pred and Sid, the two CDL rookie all-stars from last year, taking care of business and get a round on board. I mean, funnily enough, the round before that was the exact same thing. Like, you die basically off the bomb, but you still get it down, and then you clutch the 3v4 for the post-plant. Seattle able to do the exact same, and I was going to say, for the moment, I thought LEG were just giving up the bomb plant for free, and then the four nades came in at the exact same time, and I said, oh, okay, maybe the timing was slightly off, but that was their, uh, their game plan for the retake. And it's perfect numbers play there from Seattle Surge. You got the manpower to throw it. Not necessarily wasteful, but guaranteeing the win. And that's what everyone played for there. Three to one. Is this the start of the comeback now for Seattle Surge? We go back towards A. 
I mean, the chances of anyone seeing B, uh, slim to none on this map? Uh, like mid to late round adjustments. Like if you ever get a couple quick picks and like extra time to work with, you could daddy pop it and work through like P1, but off the rip, nah, you're, that's, that, that'd be bold to try to get an all out B hit unless you know a team doesn't actually watch it, but it'll definitely be A at the start for the majority of the rounds. The made the back down accuracy, but he has no fear in his heart. That's his first kill. Oh, come on. That's his second kill collecting scalps along the way. I mean, accuracy is still on those stairs. He's watching that one. He knows the bomb's there. It now falls to RCT and Hoot to try to make something of that. And the setup around this, I mean, you know accuracy's going to be there. The rest of the team's posted it up, causing problems. Pred, the hitman, in he goes. Iron Boost gets taken care of. Hook's in and out like a light, but is it enough time to take care of the rest of the squad? Maybe. 20 seconds, two players remaining. And he does have dead silence, but he doesn't have the bomb or the angle. And nope, just going to get shut down there. Might have had a, a couple freebies up top, but too good of a trap and too good of a, a bounce back round from accuracy. I think he was sitting on the donut before that round started, but gets the first blood, balls it up with a second. And um, that is an angle that I think many people probably learned today. <laughs> I'm under the impression I will be seeing a lot of it from this point on in the CDL mosh pit. Uh, you would expect that, but you truly never know, brother. Still, another round back to back. We're now in the throes of the comeback. 3 0 deficit. Surge now one away from the equalizer. And back to the down low fight. Two SMGs potentially dueling it out. And Hook hasn't quite come through the door. So a little set. Man. Neptune has found the free two piece. Oh, he's so sneaky. Look he's at him go. So, so sneaky. He might be able to get another one here. The stun check lands, connects, information passed over. Absolutely melted. Sip, good work. 2v2. I mean, who knows that playing prop hunt would have paid off, right? I think Octane used the spot earlier. <laughs> TJ comes him down instantly. A little bit less ready for that spot is Seattle. And... Who? Taking his time. And it ends up working out. 2v1 now. Sid, uh, he nearly clutched the 1v3. Oh a 1v2 is oh much my. easier in down low. He spots Arsides. It's the exact same matchup between these two AR players. It's Danny Alec, though. The read is there. Always. Double back. Finds the timing. Catches Sib out. And we stop the run right there. 4-2 to two now. No equalizer. Daddy Alec, what a play. Throughout the entirety of the Vanguard season, when Atlanta Faze needed him the most, he stepped up time and time and time again. Put the squad in his backpack or made a huge play. Massive turnaround moment. He has it in his repertoire. And he's looking to get it done here at the opener for LEG as well. And those really are sort of the uh, the moneymaker moments, right? Because obviously Sid, absolutely phenomenal player, but RC's two-time world champ. So that is the uh, the expectation to clutch those ones and maybe to have everybody in line. I think he spots them all. And unfortunately, too much to handle. He gets dropped for the first blood and this is a serious advantage Seattle now has. Yeah, this is big. No Arsatis, will it be a problem? Max posted up. If Hoot gets a little curious, he's a dead man. Spot. There's one. And that's a big win for Mac. That's a three spree. It's a great round for Mackenzie Meltz. And accuracy is going to see his feet underneath that crack. So, yeah, that is hopeless. Oink. Not a fun stun grenade to hit with. And Bleh. They haven't chased him. You, there's, there's just nowhere to go. I, I mean, no. number one save. He's got the cross. You can see out both the windows. Max got the pinch towards Ooh. the back. Superman. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, he's dead now. But wait, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Neptune. Still alive. Still kicking. Dead. He popped. Could get a plant. Seattle are going to hold this. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, fine. That's done. Woohoo! What a round that could have been. That is... That is the goofiest movement I've ever seen. It is funny. You know, I think today a lot of the players were seeing Fry or like the old heads, like Skump was dropping bombs in the hard point. Clayster was dropping bombs in the hard point. I'm trying to think who was the first series we casted. I already forgot. Was it? Yeah, Slasher as well. I don't know if I already said him, but like a lot of the OGs in a game with no like, you know, what's it called? The slide? Oh, how am I forgetting this? I don't know. We call it advanced movement. That is cap, but. Slides, slide cancel. cancel. How did I forget slide cancel? Yeah, yeah, the first game we've had in such a long time without a slide cancel. All the old heads are frying. And now you got one of the new guys, Neptune, literally bouncing face first off the rail and flying. So that's a thing.
Hey, man. You do what you can. Everyone stacked up on the bottom side of the stairs. Here we come through A1. This is going to be one hell of a hit. Mac will get away with his life. What? Wait, history repeat this up? No way. He's tagged up. There might not be enough numbers here to make this work. The gallows may not be the cause of death, but it didn't exactly help. Pred on the flank. Beautiful work. Gets himself a second. It's a delightful round. Here comes the equalizer. Massive round out of surge. And that is just, I mean, so quick. I mean, that seems to be uh, the major theme when these guys are stacking up around the archways of like that middle map flank to come through. This time, Pred, time is perfect. Gets the big two piece, seals the deal. And that is number 11 for Sib as well. Maybe hasn't clutched uh, either of the 1v1s he's had against RCDs, but both of those where he's in 1v2s and 1v3s. So he is definitely finding a massive amount of kills along the way. Pred's playstyle really suits, you know, waiting for the team's comms, making something big happen based on the information. Very smart player, very aggressive player. 11 of 4 for Sib. Fred being the man to really make a lot happen in that last round. Good stuff either way, though. We're all squared up at 4 to 4. And already, it's a pacey around with a great degree of flavor. Still some spice. Yeah, no one yet crossed over towards that A bomb, so Seattle don't have to burn too many of their nades. That's why I think Sib may be holding on to that Semtex and... I was going to say, funnily enough, the bomb might start leaning towards B. That seems a little bit crazy. And now you see they're actually making the moves over towards that A side. So Acura should be the first man to spot the cross. And as soon as he gets that intel, that's when Seattle is going to pounce. I mean, we are playing with pixels here. That is exactly what we're seeing. Here comes the info. There's the feet. There's the snap. The trophy might survive a little longer. The battle's already taking place, though. So. Onto the bomb site we now go. Here comes the quick plant. It's a 2v3. It all comes down to sim accuracy. And he just got a wall bang it too. And you're getting flanked as well. And yeah. they're concerned about it. And Sid found the kill. And accuracy, he read the flank, but it doesn't matter. And now Orsides is just so distant, but not for long. And now a 1v1. Dead, he's still active. He's flying. Checking every possible corner, every possible angle is going to be enough, though. Will he get it all done? This is for kill number six. This is for streaks. There's 15 seconds at the very least. The consolation of the streak would be sweet. There's the check. Spark's good. The round is safe, and most likely his life is as well. But you never know. Wait a minute. Pistol in hand. Ends the spree. Map point, LAG. Damn, I, it is wild watching players be able to play the game with dead silence pop because then they can actually just fly around the map and make moves and a ridiculous change of pace. But there had to have been some angle up top that Spart was going to have where he's throwing a shoulder just to peek the bomb. And as soon as he knows it's clear, he can just keep hiding. So that's a, a bold play. Accuracy and Siv, again, so close to delivering on these clutches. I mean, always just an ounce away, but... LAG have clutched in those you know, sort of nail-biter situations time and time again, and just one more round they need. 2-2 two, two split, two players going towards bombsite, but oh my god, Hook has flown forward, and he pays for it. But the attempt was there, the damage was done, but no kill. Fred now on the inside, Spark's going to level it up with a nice nade. 3v3, a pacey round indeed. Can Seattle surge force their round 11? They are taking their time as well. Maybe waiting for that next pick to fall through, but RCDs is watching the P1 side of the map, so they got all their bases covered. A little bit of a standoff down low oh between the two SMGs, and in the meantime, Sib finds the kill, so man advantage over Seattle. Neptune, it looks like he's starting to creep up and make moves, but yeah, too good of an angle, too patient of a play. Seattle should have this one in the back. Last man, RCDs. And he is at the top of the tip of the truck. He's got a kill. Pop Daddy got out with his life. This is not over yet. 30 seconds on the bomb. Oh. Maybe. Ankles. Clearly not his thing. Oh, no. It's falling to pieces. It's round 11. I swore I see you saw it. I could have sworn. Maybe one of his teammates on the, the feet through the rails down low, but I think Brett had the perfect pinch anyway, so nowhere for RCDs to go. First round 11 of the year, is it not? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is indeed. It only took us three and a half series to get here. <laughs> Ice check now for both teams. Is it the tried and true Seattle surge or is the new look for the LAG squad? Round and 11, here we go. I, I will say the biggest problem for Seattle, I think on this map for a lot of the rounds they haven't won is Pred just getting picked off for that first blood. So I think the setup's going to be the exact same. Accuracy watching the exact same cross. 
it's just a matter of like waiting for the play to actually come through and coordinating the nades before any player falls. Sib looking for kill number 16 here in the search. Gunfire prattling out across the map. Pred now. That's it. He's had enough. Oh, the again, timing was good. Every time. Luke gone. Damage again. Bomb down. They're out. Advantage LAG. I close those doors as well. Close those doors and try to make it a little bit confusing. Mac oh working my. the deep side, but RCD is even deeper. That way, two versus four. Sib and accuracy trying to deliver. Neptune's out. That was back a little bit. Throwing more than shoulders. Well, it's throwing more than shoulders here. Sib's going to try to get involved. Can't get it done. Accuracy now done. Damn. All he possibly can. Beam's good. Time, though, not on his side. Three bullets as well to play with. It is simply not going to be enough. Not even in this game. LAG, the lead pays off, and it may have come down to the wire, but they do manage. His mentions get flamed, and I think with the fist bumps out and abound, even a smile on Hook's face. Can't imagine after a performance like that on map two. There's always something to smile about. Well, the skins are nasty. All of them. Absolutely gross, baby. Here we go. Where's the loot at? Oh, come on, man. Maybe where's the loot? With the guitars? The, oh, the loot. Uh, yeah, there's one in yes, there, and there's another the one. Loot. There's another one in P2. P2. There's a loot, and uh, I forget. There's plenty. Of, there's plenty of different stringed instruments. Have a look, brother. We'll do a little map walkthrough, just you and I. Oh. We'll have it. We'll do a tour of the hotel together. I mean, there's only one room. I find that kind of weird for such a large place. Like, where are all these people staying? Either way, into the control, we now go. 30 lives apiece, two zones, and in the end, one win. And yeah, definitely a beat hit off the rip for Seattle on offense. And not the bad start for the first and second blood. Spark maybe the next man to try to take down. They succeed, and the pressure on the B zone is in. Here we go. It's kills from Seattle. So far, so good. Two for Pred right off the rip, and B... Making quick work of it. You've still got players from LAG on the outside, though. Looking to get involved. Nice shots out of Spark. Whoa, my word. The turn of burn there. Who caught out throwing an eight. That's another thing we're going to be watching out for a lot in this game. As three clean kills come through from Surge. The B zone is basically done. Massive work out them early on. But keep an eye on the time to kill. Throwing nades, getting caught in that situation is going to eat many players alive. Now, if the cut-off kills here a good chance, this round is done. I, yeah, I feel like this is already over, right? This is three players about to run into like a, a firing squad and Mac does the damage. Someone there for the trade. It was Spart with the team kill on himself and they might have actually found the opening. A lot of players just got away one shot. Now it's Sim trying to work with Mac on the flip side and oh it is Mac word. collecting all of the kills. Oh god. He's at number five. Pred's back in the mix in Seattle. Well, you spawn right on top of the hill. So rather and oh wow. He'll be good to go. Pred, there's one more, mate. You may as well go for it. Heavy tags. Cleanup kills are there, but the round is done. Seattle surge. Very succinct work here in the opening round of control. And they didn't even entirely have to stack the B zone. I mean, they left Sib and Prid over towards like couches in the middle of the map and just let Mac and Accuracy do it by themselves. But as soon as they got like that initial wipe, that's as clean as you're really going to see a, a round ever get. So, I mean, that is by the book. That is done to perfection. And that is a very strong advantage. Because I, I do think the map will be defensive sided. Again, not by a crazy amount. You obviously have opportunities. There it is. Well, what do you know, mate? What's that? Is that a, is, is that a loot? It looks a lot like a loot. It might not actually be. I might be wrong there, but it does look a bit like a loot. <laughs> Thank you, Cleaner. <laughs> What a fun year it's going to be with all the details in these maps. Sib with the two, accuracy involved as well. And oh my good God, oh, everyone dear. gets a piece of the pie. Defensively, very sound out search. Yeah, and well, now if you're talking about pie, the spawns are over in the kitchen area and they might be stuck there for quite some time. And it's actually massive flanks coming through. And I feel like this has to get read by LAG. Someone's going to turn around and, and prepare for this. I think a couple players have turned their arrow a few different times, but they guessed the wrong door and Mac guns them both down. Suffocating right now on defense is Seattle. Well, it's working out, man. So though, oh, nice win at Neptune. Second bit of segment goes through. Daddy Alec gets to get a kill, but that's fine for now. But this game is getting away from LAG. They've been cleaned off the point for now. Who's making a bit of a run? Pandemonium across the map chance with less than 50 seconds to go here. 
Yeah, I mean, so the spot that Sib is playing right now in the bottom left of the minimap, he is going to be forcing LAG spawn inside of Kitchen forever. And so Seattle are going to know exactly what they need to deal with. Hook's the only man that's actually been able to get out, so you will get a free flank, and that will be the opening for LAG to actually try to secure this A point. But until they clear out Sib of this position, they're spawning across the map from B, and it's just a hike across the map to try to make something happen. It is possible that Seattle are aware that that point was getting captured slowly by only one player based on the progress, but now the defensive lineup shifts over towards B. Neptune, once again, alive and kicking. He's going to be able to try to sniff out Sib, who's still running amok over by the parking lot. And even in the back, yeah, the accuracy just perfectly with the nade to clear him out. Finally, though, Sib falls, so maybe you can hope for a bit of a closer spawn, and finally enough, it was splits in that moment, but a couple players are going to be around. I think it's what, Fred, because of course it is the download bedroom, so they still have to clear out their own base, and there's always someone there being annoying. Still being annoying. Spots trying to go toe to toe with Pred. Catching him out. Good stuff. Now you got that part of the map open. Big win for Moog. Now, bit of progress to fly forward. The numbers are working out for LEG. They only have one life down, but the more mans on the map, the better. Can they get in towards the B zone? Yes. Mac <laughs> takes his head off. It is sort of a two step thing because even like once you like, you can clear out your top and bottom bedroom, you can clear out the plat, and it's still not easy to get B. You have to get trophies out. You still need some sort of clearance. So. LAG, I mean, they did like the first part of clearing out their base, but steps two and three are by no means that easy. And Seattle, right back in position, cornered up, ready to go. Everything they have covered. One last hit of this one. You got to go fast, though, lads. If you're going to get on this point, times are ticking. 10 seconds. Dive on in. Kills are there. Can Hook find one and maybe dive on it? No, you've checked the wrong corner, mate. No one's able to get to the point. Oh, mess. Here we go. Two seconds. Anyone there? Shots are good. They stop the clock. Zero point done. Zero. Unlucky there from LAG, not able to get the job done, and that's going to be it. They're down in the segments as well, Chance, should we have to go to the final round? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's day one. These are, you know, hot takes abound, but Seattle do just look a, a little bit more well orchestrated so far in the respawn game mode. So neck and neck in s &D, but I mean, map one, there was a section where Seattle go on like a 130 point run on the Albager Fortress, and I mean, so far, two back-to-back -back rounds where it is just clean, efficient, well-orchestrated gameplay from Seattle. I mean, Sib's doing his thing. Pre yeah, I mean, look, there's no surprise there. It's the two sophomores, the two all-stars putting in the work. No major surprise there. Good shots out of Mac. Nobody get the kill. Pressure now, still on It was an exciting and extremely efficient attack. For Seattle Surge, the first go around. This could be another 3-0 in control. Is this the dagger or would always be? Yeah, I just don't want to deal with Fred in that situation. Neptune at least gets rid of him, but it's still Seattle. I mean, really taking their time to try to set this one up. And for good reason, when you're winning gunfights like that, but still no actual pressure uh, on this B zone. You see the middle of the map has been dominated. This is why last time Sib and Pred stayed around couches because if you can't handle that cross, you're still not going to get that zone. So Seattle are sort of stuck just on the opposite side of the map. Caption B now, though. 38 seconds remaining. It's a better look out of LAG this time around. Do they have to sweep Seattle from the point? They stuns. All getting thrown. Good coverage there. Arsties and Spark going to make their way around. Neptune's got eyes on the backside, but Mac is going to plant it. Stay there and not move. Here comes the gunfight. Wow. Lightning fast. Bit of work there. Sibs back onto it. Couple of kills going their way. Spark, last man here on the defense. He's been taken care of as well. Sib is cooking. 30 seconds on the clock. Stopped it. Is it enough? Man alive. Back and forth on B. And I'd say, Seattle, you might have to pull the plug and just like eventually just straight up go for A. They're not getting a close spawn for it at all, but trying to flood it at this point has not been panning off. And there's Hook as well. 17 kills for him, by the way. So that's why he was smiling earlier on. Now that Seattle are spawning in Kitchen, though, but to say Neptune was quick to be there on defense. Sip just shreds him though. 5.7 seconds left on the clock. Getting the job done over by A for a sec. Is it going to be enough to seal the deal here? Got to hold on to it for quite some time. No stack at the moment. It's only accuracy getting the cap done. Chance, LAG might chalk it. They don't have to just yet. If it's only one man, like, uh, you know, stacked on the point for the moment, you can take your time and look for these kills. Pred will get a freebie in this moment. No major flanks coming through, and I think you are correct. LAG effectively just chopping it up, getting all the pressure over towards top bedroom, over towards the catwalk, but I don't think anyone's going to overcommit and try to defend this. Okay, 
point. Yeah, massive work from Sib. Smooth dancing and fantastic centering. You got those two kills. A's gone. One minute to play with. Life count relatively even. Seattle Surge, that slight advantage isn't going to amount to a whole lot here because you're going to burn through these lives. Sib on Ew. four, and he is frying, son. 22 and nine. Yeah, I got to get that class. I feel like he's killing before the second bullet comes out of the gun. I'm trying to get a, a good look at what the grip is, but it's not true. Either way, though, we're making our way towards B. The first segment is a thing of the past. Oh, my good God. Oh. He's frying. Is it the attachments? Probably not. It's the player. As Sib is sensational right now. It's a five speed for him. And he's going to be the player at least forcing these spawns out, but his teammate's still spawning over towards Kitchen. So you are going to have to stop this clock, even if you want to try to win this game on lives. But I think LAG, that is a nice little spurt. They might have just daggered them. Now Seattle, they're going to be forced. You have to fly towards this point. You're going to get shot in the back, shot in the front. LAG should have this one ready. They should. Final 10 seconds. Will it come down to kills? Will it come down to a moment on the point? It is possible. There's the stop. Kills are there. Neptune finds two. Clock opens up once again, and that could be the round. Wait for it. Not over just Yes, it should be done. Wait a minute. It's not over just there. It's done. Blimey. That was nutty. A crazy finish towards the point there. Trades work out. LAG stay alive. Yeah, just nowhere to go towards the end. I mean, if Siv wins that gunfight against Neptune, like in the back, maybe there's the opportunity. I mean, it turns into a two versus two towards the end, but a little bit too much pressure left towards the end. And that is definitely not a shot at Siv. I mean, he's like 22 and 10 or something like that. He has been frying this entire series. And right now, LAG, they got to respond. They're getting picked apart in the slang calling. Siv has been, or slang column, rather. Siv has been taking them to task and... Now you got to find a way to win on offense. And it will be a B hit off the rip. Who could be roaming towards the middle of the map and maybe look for an Aaron killer too, but he gets shut down instantly. And now his teammates in a, effectively a 3v4 at the harder point to capture. Good luck with this. Hey, man. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of luck. We're still committing towards B. All angles covered right now for Seattle Surge. We're waiting for that push forward again. The sort of trap you had Seattle put LAG in in the previous rounds was so strong, forcing them to spawn that kitchen side. But for now, I mean, it has to come down to big wins. <laughs> it's got to be big kills across the board for Seattle Surge because they're quite spread defensively. I gotta say, the, the Dolphin Dive gets me every time, but they're <laughs> trying, yeah, dude, they're oh, trying to find disgusting. it through the middle of the map. Yeah, Sid, he just kills faster. Can we get a trade here, mate? That's the plan. Sid's still holding that capture side. He's posted up. I'm just gonna try and find it. And connects on the point we now finally go for the capture 30 seconds we're pausing it that's a big win neps there to back him up you're off the point though keep an eye on the time and everyone on seattle is either full flanking you're trying to cut in through mid so they're not even hitting from the back right now it is just the full wraps and there's mac the hero for the team from the top oh. rope give him the three and maybe number four but oh these archies by himself Credit to Arcides, he does what he can, but 15 seconds left on the clock. Now you got to sprint yourself over towards A, but I mean, accuracy potentially ready to pinch. Sid may be ready to just gun people to bed and that'll be the play call. Number four though, Pred, you know it's him going on the flank. Seattle, I think they're going to be able to break this. The timing of the pinch will be fantastic, but you get these kills, you end the game. Here we go. Fred's made his presence known. Here comes the pinch for the front side. Stay down if you're on the point. That's going to be the game plan right now for LAG. It all comes down to this last hit. Sparks finding kills, though. He's managed to make safe one of the flanks. It is now all quiet on the eastern front. Towards the west now, you look, and Pred's done. So, with that gamble, it didn't pay off. You should capture A. Yeah, it was a good try, but just good reads from LAG, who are honestly pretty quick to roam over towards this B side. They haven't cleared out bedroom just yet, but they're winning the initial gunfights. And there's God, number three. Dang. Last man standing is going to be Mac. He is a pop. Last time he got the three P's. This time, though, he's going to get gunned down. Hoop is ready for it. We get a three stack on the point. This should go quick. They're stacking it. They're stacking it in a big way. Sib's trying to fly forward. Accuracy's taking his time to get another fight. And time is not what you've got right now. LAG almost looking to push the final round. Here we go. They lock it down. And from the jaws of defeat, they buy one more lifeline. Yeah, that was so quick as well. Uh, you know, you see the flank coming through. It gets developed for the longest time from Pred over towards A, but that gets spread. They find a couple kills, and uh, it was a much faster version of we'll leave one player to capture that old point. We need to pounce on new, and they just got all the kills. Uh, I mean, every single one falling like dominoes. Even Mac was in the spot to make the hero play, but it just gets red. So, I mean, that is incredibly well done on the attack, and 
I might have jumped the gun a bit too soon. Uh, a few rounds ago, LAG straight back in it. But I do think it's a slightly defensive-sided map, so it is important of who actually captured more segments to get defense for the final round. And so in my mind, this would be a slight advantage towards Seattle, but obviously we've seen two offensive wins. It's nothing crazy. Hey, man. Anything can happen. We're hitting A first. Here comes the capture. Seattle Surge going to have to now fast scramble over towards this point. Two-man stack for LAG. And Max going to start the counterattack. Here we go. And it's more of just about uh, trapping these players in, right? And that is an interesting spawn. Mac is actually in here. Players spawn directly behind him. And I think Neptune spawned a little bit further back than usual. So thought someone was going to be nearby. Thought correctly, but all is well that ends well. One player on the point to capture it. Buying number five and number six. RCDs and Hook all the time in the world to go on this flank. Try to clear out that side. Play for some spawn kills. Obviously, Pred has been spotted. And Mac, yeah, he's not reading the full flank. He's going to fall. Oh my. LAG have played this round fantastically so far. Can they get on more speed? It's another gunfight that Pred wins. Massive. Keeps the back line safe. All lies towards the front now as LAG wait for the numbers and try again. So far, minute 50 to play with. Tons of lives. And you try to flank. The stun lands at your face. And that means Mac is going to be looking down for two. Players cross, but Mac has both of them pinned in the back. And everybody else on Seattle just gets free reign on the map. I mean, just look at the position from accuracy. Keep in mind, he's on defense, and he was basically just standing in the spawn of LAG. And where he falls, it just trades back and forth across the map, but Mac on point on defense, and Sib still in position for some spawn kills. Who bides his time, but his chance is up. Here comes the push now from Seattle, trying to get that front line going forward. They've got themselves in position now to clear up the, or to force the spawns towards the top side of the map chance. This is a good look. For Seattle, LAG have got a lot of work to do from this spot. Well, there's number one. He's been the hero for the moment. A lot of work to do and uh, a couple more in front of him, but dodges the nade. And honestly, it's just about buying time. But Sparta's there. They've cleared out bottom bedroom. That's step one. Now you got to get past Pred. Step two, Pred's buying the bar and he's serving up a little bit more than a tasty beverage. Who's going to tip hit the top side? Pred's still lying in wait. He's got Sib just behind him covering the top plat side. You have 35 seconds to get to the point. Here comes RC. Big win. Sib though finds himself two more. Spark from the top bedroom side. Surely now the pressure is on. Through the mid map flow, you're going to see LAG try to make something happen. But no, all angles are covered. Spark's keeping the space safe, but you're running out of time. Here we go. Accuracy is going to oh. fall, though, and that means the cross is going to be open. That is a three down, and Siv is the last man standing. Just like that, you get the clearance on the point, and once again, it is the stack. It'll be three players on, and Seattle are going to be forced to flood. The Gorillas are in. They're in. Hook finds another one. Third comes around a corner. Easy. Hook nails it. That's going to be that. Surely now, Fred, the hero playing. There's the kills from Spa, and ladies and gentlemen, take a standing bow. LAG, they pull it back. Three straight. Spart maybe had a, a little bit of something to say. Series ain't done, but I don't know what that aggression is about. Uh, well, yeah, pretty much. Absolutely. Don't forget the friends packs are on sale. You see the skins these players are running around with in game. You too can look as flash while you fly around and try to get anything above a point one in this game. It ain't easy, friends. Everyone's going to be absolutely cool. <laughs> so now go into the hard point. LAG match point. Can they close out here? And funnily enough, just one of those sort of advantages you get off spawn. Seattle, they get to the hill first on, on Breenberg. So just uh, what are you going to do? One team just going to get guaranteed the first few seconds. Yeah. But I suppose in a sense, LAG will have the spawns for P2 on the right side of the map. But you know, there's a balance to things in life. Just not hotel. <laughs> it's five star, baby. You got to pay for the goods and accuracy. A great force for you to start the map off. Helps his team net 21 seconds there in the opening hard point. But that... Time is done. Can Mac stop the flow of points now? As LAG, slight tactical retreat off the point for a second. The last sort of 18 seconds remaining here are going to be four over. Again, looking towards the next hard point. Also, that's where Surge are right now. And this is more or less exactly what you want. If you're Seattle, you get to the hill first just because you spawn closer to the hill. You turn that into flipping spawns over towards new. And this is pretty much uh, as good as it gets. Couldn't ask for anything more. You got Pred pushed out the deep right side of the map. You got players pushed up mid. You got Mac pushed up the bottom side. So everything is covered. It is a super deep spread across the map. And it is Pred. You have to get past and 
Right now, he is just cooking them up. LEG, there is nowhere to go. Oh, he's tagged. No problem, though. He slowed down the flow of reinforcements now from LAG. Unable to get anywhere near the point. Finally taken care of. Here comes Elaine. Actually get in, and Hoop takes the advantage. Opens the door. Sib slams it right back in the face of LAG. Neptune on the flank, though, is going to mount to much. No, <laughs> Sib. Germany crickets. It's a 6 spree, and he's got full streaks. Yeah, I don't know if Matt just fed Sib that information, or if he heard him, or if they just oh, countered oh, out, and that was good comms, but... That is a, a nice little moment. We're now trying to chain it. Pred, not quite by himself, but he's a little bit lonely. It'll be Mac the next in line, but he's going to fall as well. So Seattle trying to make some big plays on this rotation. And honestly, the big plays going to continue. LAG, nice recognition on that. As soon as number eight, Spart spawns up, he gave the call to his teammate who immediately started to turn around. So they know there's players in the back. Holy dooly. And why do you aim down the sights? There's no need. From the hip, or rather from the... Elbow, the suit there, prone. That was the tags. Coverage there from RC's on the outside. Kitchen looking very, very safe right now. Sip. Accuracy. Fighting the way forward. Here comes the timed hit. Beautiful work. They both get their kills. That's going to be the break. Seattle surge. And I. The Vaznev's a wild gun, right? I mean, Hook's popping Betty. <laughs> he scores the hit fire it, and he just fries accuracy like it's a normal gunfight. I'm thinking close range against Siv with the M4. Hook's got this for sure. Nope, not in the slightest. Absolutely gets destroyed. So can't always predict the gunfights in this one. And Neptune and Spark maybe on the bad end of those gunfight predictions. Now we combine 5 and 16. Trying to get things going in the first till really LAG have an opportunity to try to lock down a decent bit of time. Should have trophies out, have good map coverage, have hoop pushed up in a bedroom. It's pretty much all you want. No lead is safe in Modern Warfare 2, though, especially in hard points. So, however good things are looking right now for Seattle Surge, this ain't over yet. 12 and 5 out of Sib, though, as you said, death taxes and thrown in respawn. Your boy's on it. Five spree there for Pred as he's also getting things going. The two young'uns, newest additions to the CDL for this roster are looking fantastic so far. And now I'm seeing the M4 at range, and I'm like, yeah, that's going to win against the Vaznev, and then Neptune just guns him. So again, these predictions, not easy. Good luck with your bets this year, but <laughs> as far as betting for the final 25 seconds of this hard point, LAG down heftily in this game. Basically get the full 60 and at least chop away at the lead. Obviously, though, still a long way to go, and Pred from the top rope, triple positive for the moment. Again, to the surprise of no one, him and Sib are frying. The table's up now in the restaurant in a few seconds. See how Surge will be eaten away at these hard point seconds. Time's up. Lamar can't win it all, though. It's actually taken care of. Neptune through the corner, and the old cheeky crawl on your belly. We're going to see lots of that this year in NW. Pred wins another. Flying forward. Neptune, though, on a bit of a spree himself, now comes down to Sib. 16th kill of the match so far chance 40 seconds on the point and rcd is also funneling enough is like kind of behind the entire team right now but how many can he get along the way only one just gets dropped back that spidey sense was tingling and again i said pretty much every hill outside of p1 can get held for a full 60 and right now seattle doing their sunday best in sim with the beamer every direction it just doesn't matter him and Matt working together for RCs. I feel like there's almost nothing you can do. Or maybe they need to take down Sid, but it's just Matt next in line, man. Dancing oh, everywhere around the diner. It takes so much to kill these players on the surge. Hard work. I mean, RC's getting in the habit now of just aiming lower. And everyone seems to be prone at nearly every moment of every game and every fight. Over to the rooftop. Just above the parking lot area now. We're going to see how the LAG players can now fight their way forward. See our surge in full control. Let's see how the break goes. We're listening with LAG. Back left. And back right. Back left. Back right. 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 Let's go straight and you pinch cross steps. I have the right cut off. I have the right cut off. Yeah, we can win. Yeah, one full six. I spawned spawn. I spawned spawn. You're right, self-cut. He's nerd. He's nerd. Should I help you nerd out? Nerd. 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 Nerd
I'm watching bad head here. Gonna be light. Gonna be lobby or curve. Yeah, I'm going lobby. lobby. He's bricks, bricks. I'm nice. 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 I'm missing Lamar and uh, Mac, okay? He's bricks again. Yeah, I'm holding bricks. left. I'm holding left. Bricks okay. again. Bricks they, again. They're gonna work Cowan. Okay, yeah, bricks, 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 bricks. Bricks set. Cowan left on me. Last guy. Yeah, they're gonna top glass. Yeah, I think Cowan. Yeah, he's gonna top glass. He's top cat. Top cat got me. Top cat got me. I think he was a top cat. You know what's right? You know what's right? Nerd got me, okay? They're couching their I spawned cat. I spawned cat. They're couching nerd heavy, okay? Are you nerd? I'm cat. I got him, I'm trying to spray. Top cat walk up bit. Back right of hill. Absolute back right of hill. Okay. I got needed. Top cat walk. Top yeah, cat walk on. He's long through. He jumped down. He's looking. He's in between like the. Uh, the I'm, I'm, I'm playing for this kill. I'm playing for this kill. Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad situation whatsoever in terms of the comms for LAG. They're doing everything they can to keep this game alive and no sign of any sort of deflation when it comes to the 217 80 plus scoreline we're seeing. What? What? I, that's a, no, I mean, you're right. I suppose that's a good sign in a sense that like you're keeping the vibes flowing, like trying to keep the comms like very perfect. Like they're not as depressed as you'd think for being down by, you know, 120 that's points. That's because they're goddamn professionals. God, that, that, there's no crying. There was no tears, no nothing. It was just, I'm trying to do this. Let's get this happening in the game. I mean, I'm with it. I'm with it. LAG, not out of the woods yet. They're in trouble. P2's up and accuracy's on ahead. Yeah, and it's just... I mean, the hard point, this is just a, a little bit tough. And uh, yeah, the, the choppiness of the gameplay as well. So what's happened? Super not ideal. Well, according to Accuracy's face, everything seems to be fine. That might have just been an issue on the observer side, which is good. So still 10 seconds now for the win. Man, a Seattle, knows. one more big hit, trying to make their way forward. And Accuracy, I'm stealing this spot. My God, there's the lineup for Sib. There's the kills. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a game five. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, hi, is that game five, Seattle Surge, LAG? Yeah, don't refresh your device. Don't do anything. Just shut up and watch the card. Here we go. First game five of the year, and there's been a lot of firsts in this series, including what might be the first of a record for Sib of the highest KD of any series in the CDL. Dude, legit as like a 2.4. Well, ooh, we got first one. We... If I cast or curse them after like an hour delay, I'm going to feel so bad that LAG right now trying to fry. Somebody said at the start of the day that you're going to see a lot of drop shots today, and I think it was Brycey, and he was not wrong. I know he's still awake right now because he's insane, but it's a 2v3. LAG with the man advantage, 50 seconds on the clock. Neptune, that bomb in hand. We're going to beat. Oh, we're they're having a bit. Well, it's a long discussion. Do you want to deal with bread or do you want to deal with accuracy? And they might have chosen wrong. Yeah, actually, hasn't lagged out. He's still lying down here. He's waiting for it. And this is true patience. That's good timing. Great coverage from the nade. That bomb's getting planted. And he popped that silence to not move a muscle. So that is uh, typical. Brett has rejoined his teammate, though, and I got to win a bunch of incredibly difficult gunfights. And the nade actually might connect, but Spark's just going to be able to back away. Wow. And snake as much as he needs to. Talk about a series of unfortunate events. I mean, brilliant timing. But here comes Pred. Dead, he popped as well. The round's been going for quite some time. 25 on the clock. Got to go. Pred, got to go. Got to go. There's the first. Not going to happen on the second. LAG. Opening gambit works out. And brief recap for the series. Uh, Seattle Surge. Look, man. <laughs> coming some slack, you know, all right, Miles? It's been a long day, all right? Brief I had recap <laughs> of the series. LAG have gotten obliterated in the hard points. Clutched out a, a pretty impressive, honestly, uh, hotel control. Won three rounds in a row, including two offensive rounds. Uh, and then the S&D clutched away in a 6-5 victory in spite of of the fact that uh, Sib dropped 16 on, on that too. So I would say for the fact that you just first-blooded Sib, uh, you're already feeling great about your chances. LAG continue their success in search. Flying towards B. Hoop might be able to run into a couple of players. Definitely heard a footstep or two. Stunned. Gunfights there. Trades are abound as accuracy who actually lands the first two kills of the round. Three! Neptune trying to, yeah, and Neptune trying to shoot his teammates too, but now he knows he's got to worry about accuracy and the ace that Pred is going to steal from a bounce back round. And again, we talked about it. I know nobody forgot the diversity of strats that you can break out on a map like Kotel. This time for Seattle, just bullying out, not completely towards the middle of the map. Obviously, a little bit of pressure over towards the dining side of things, but basically the full swarm over towards mid. Seattle get it done. You had a bit more of a, an oscillation strat for LAG round one where they're bouncing back and forth between different sides of the map, but already good stuff for swing between these two teams. I mean, look, it's a hotel throwdown and it's 1-1 thus far. Good stuff out of Neptune already. 3-1, and one. accuracy 4-1 and one. on that bit of a three spree. Not that streaks are too influential here on hotel, 
There is more open spaces on the map than you would imagine on the inside. Here we go, though. A much slower look this time. Seattle Surge on defense. Two towards B, one mid, one look towards A. And heavily right now playing for picks. Maybe a few players waiting for dead silence to be activated to make moves. Neptune obviously has his, and he can be ready to jump and... It is going to be the slow approach. Number six is actually crossed. Yeah, there you see Huke actually. It looks like he uses dead silence just to get across the bottom bedroom. So oh, he's the player right now to make the play. Uses the dead. He gets the regen and the first blood. That's what LAG oh, needed. Can't and get he away. away. He's so close. Couldn't get away with his life, though. Let's give him enough space to get the plant down. Sadly, 2v3. The Seattle Surgeon are not going to make something of this. Net pops steady, quick reposition. We'll be able to set himself up for a nice kill. Will he hear Sib? Surely does. Oh, unless Sib's got Deddy going, he does. Wow, two ships passing silently in the night. Hello. That's unfortunate. Big work out of Pred. 3v1, all down to Nep. Yeah, take your time. You got a nade to work with as well. You got to be in the guy off bomb and then throw your tax and nades and pray you get it right. He's going to start with the nade and... That might be perfect. Oh my god. seconds left. Dead now. Max straight on it. Nep's got to go. Flies forward. Woo! Oh my god. Neptune 1v3. Wow. What a f***ing round, boys and girls. King of the sea and king of that bomb site as well. I was thinking shoot the guy and use the nades for the second. Instead, he gets the love tap with the grenade, finishes him off, and then the stun after the fact was perfect. And I don't even think he was reading the guy to be up that close on that bar. No, but no. He definitely brought the gunny reaction time on point in the Vasnev in his finest form. With that it, true composure, you see how heavy breathing it was after that one. That was a huge round to put himself a 6-1 to get his team the lead for now. But massive composure out of a player who has received his fair share of criticism. Another round, a lot of wind in those sails. And that's a guaranteed top five play of the week as well. Honestly, I think that might be the one that takes the number one spot, but we can get to that later. As it stands now, a lot of creepy crawlers trying to work their way up towards the top and successful to make it there. Spart, you got a, you got a player behind you. Sneaky. There we go. You might have two in a second. Knock, knock. Do you have a minute to talk about your car insurance? No, says Spart. Absolutely not. 50 seconds left. Man advantage, LAG. And still one more player behind enemy lines. I think there's some awareness of the fact, but they're not quite sure. Hook, though, he finds the freebie for the 1v2. And they're vaguely aware of Pred, oh but if they didn't know before, they certainly know now. 35 seconds, 1v1, Pred v. Hook. And Pred popped Deddy, but he should know Hook was playing over towards uh, your bar desks. Yeah, he's over by bar 25. Got to get moving. Got to grab the bomb. We'll find the kill on Hook. Oh my God, heads up play. You check this corner. Massive, massive round out of Hook. Heads up play from the young man. He's got Deddy, puts himself in a good spot to see all angles. And Pred, no patience, sends it straight to the grave. Well, I, you know, unfortunate timing for Pred. I think his dead silence ran out as soon as he got into blue, but it was also just a perfect position from Hook there towards the end. Can see the cross towards Bomb has a tight angle on the side, and there's a chance that Pred is going to check that, but even then, it's kind of close to a 50-50 gunfight because the angle Hook had, and that is just very well played. And I mean, it's one of those things. You get a 1v3. That's just a massive amount of momentum for your team, especially after a delay like that. Not hard to make your opponent tilt. We'll see if Seattle can bounce back and keep their resolve. Yeah, that front cortex is absolutely ringing right now. Let's find out, though. Call G R and D on YouTube. Check it out. Here comes Fred. Oh, no. No, no. That's unfortunate. That's only going to piss you off even more, though. One thing that is annoying is big gunfights like that. Avastis. Sib's got him trailed in the corner. Max there to help out. B-bomb site all safe. Bombs going over towards A. That's where accuracy comes in. And <laughs> he's still here, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, he'll be in this spot all year. I wouldn't necessarily uh, be surprised if it. you have easy tags. Oh. Ooh, close, but no cigar. See how Surge back in it. I mean, you know. <laughs> Every time we see accuracy, it's going to be belly down to the exact same spot, or he'll make the adjustment and play top bedroom and hold the exact same angle. But uh, I mean, honestly, it's the perfect sort of standard spot to play. You get the cross to bomb, you can feed the intel to your teammates, and it is sort of a guarantee on the map of getting the quality information that you need. So 
standard stuff for accuracy and i think he's up to about eight kills already only five rounds deep so he's had a, a solid performance on hotel thus far in seattle maybe a little bit of aggression in this round leaning towards that b site where they bullied out mid before now they're just trying to bully out hook yeah here comes hook though gets his corner ready here comes the noise single shot oh All good though baby he was on single fire, but it's not going to make a difference. He managed to get two out of that one. That is basically all he could ask for from Hook there. Neptune steps up immediately. And Sib, standing on the chest. Strong lampshade. That is a strong, lampshade. strong lampshade. Absolutely ridiculous. Is Neptune. no one checking this corner? No one's checking corners. Seattle Surge, not checking a single corner. Pred, Deadly Pop, though, he's going to soar. Will speed be the gift? Nope, it will not. My word, L-A-G. Talk about composure. That was a very, very long delay. A huge break. Their mental game has not waned. They're looking good so far. And that, that's a couple awkward moments, right? For Hook accidentally switching his gun to single fire. Like, that's happened to me a few times, but in a CDL match, that is not ideal. But he delivers, turns that into two. But also... It was the exact same corner. They got used twice and, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, won't get fooled again. I think we got to learn from our mistakes in that situation, but Seattle just not quite ready for the, the kitchen hit. So no success over towards B on the attack. And it looks like if B is the play call, we'll see if LAG could maybe take a turn or maybe just play for picks again. They're consistent with sort of this 2-2 split. It has worked. I mean, it's 4-2. They're blasting through this game five. Much heavier presence towards the A side of the map now for Seattle Surge. Here comes the check. Prez just on the outside of the bar. Players all around him. Here we go. We're committing to the site. We're committing to the play. LAG flying forward. Prez with a tactical retreat. Getting ready for the fight. Here we go. Oh, and they're able to catch him out as well. Nice first blood pickup for Arsenius, no who delivers with two, the island player. We talked about it, how Slasher loves to do it. Well, Arsity succeeds as well. And now poor Sib. I have three players dancing around him, but he can hear what's about to happen. He can only hear some of it. Two of them are dead he just before they got in there. Here comes the door crack. He's by the fridge. Ice cold in the game. Less than 30 on the clock. You've got two players left to take care of. Oh my God, Neptune, what a hotel he's having so far. And that oh, is yeah. unbelievable. Seattle could not get anything right that round. Yeah, no, that is an S and D grinder right there in Neptune. You know, we talked about how Seattle not quite checking all the deep corners when they're going in towards kitchen. And granted, for that specific corner, not fun to check because you're worried about the deep angles as well. But Neptune certainly prepared. Guess is correct. And uh, I mean, just sniffs them out. Hey, dude. How often do we see players and teams when they're clutching 1v3s like Neptune have earlier and end up losing the map somehow? I feel like it's just such a, a momentum boost for your team, but I don't want to cast or curse anything. I hope I didn't just do it in this moment. 5-2 <laughs> lead. LAG just need one more. That's a delight. Match point, LAG. Search and destroy been their bread and butter. It was much closer earlier in the day. Here in the game five, they're walking away with it on hotel. Spot. It's up, and it could have been absolutely outrageous. Barsties will land. The bomb has been planted, though. Surge getting absolutely battered over by the bar, and in the wrong possible way. Spot didn't check the corner. Oh, oh my God. My God. My, no. Oh, shut it off. Get, get a face cam up there or something. He's giving him the bag. He's giving him the knife. It is all wrong. They're defusing the bomb. Sweet Christmas. It's too early in the season for this sort of shenanigans. The headsets are off, and my God, LAG have done it. And good God, oh I mean, Sparks God. over here, he's flipping off the camera after map 